guys with another reaction with the toxic channel you i believe your favorite channel if you are here it means your favorite channel guys <laughs> so we're gonna do it's been a long time i didn't do family gay i'm gonna do it today with the most darkest humor in the show i don't know how this show is still air and i don't know how they made it uh, the idea they came from they came up from all the stereotype all the jokes all the darkest things there's some of them part of true but the so it's it's a reflex on the society how they think and how they see it. They are funny if you don't take it personally. They are really funny. But if you don't take it personally, other than that, it's gonna be offended to you guys. If you don't take it personally, that's all his jokes. We are just here for love, so there is nothing personal about it, guys. So make sure to check the stores. And And make sure to subscribe guys if you want to see more reaction not just this in general and send me links and make sure to subscribe also on instagram because that's where i post new things and you can give me feedback there you can write me and we can talk so let's check in guys and let's go welcome to the newest bull rider peter the kid I am back at the ranch. I'm a breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find uh, out. Uh, oh, la, la, la. How the fuck they go directly to this shit? They went hard in the first minutes, you guys. Come on, bro. Don't fatty. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> <laughs> haram guys, it's haram. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh god. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh god. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There we go. All right, everything worked out. I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Okay. Maybe you bring a blazer so we can go to a wider range of restaurants. I'll, I'll bring a blaze. Okay, kids, we're going to start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away. <sighs> All right. I, I yeah, you know... This kind of things, it's it's a reflection of society because uh, I, I was watching a show. I wasn't watching a show, it's just on TikTok. It passed on TikTok and I saw a guy, like, not a guy, but in general, they call them predators in America. Uh, they, okay, they are everywhere in the world, but uh, the show, it's American, so. It's called predator and they try to catch the people, old people, they try to catch them and like... Uh, like making fake profile of kids and stuff like this and sending pictures and stuff like this and then they meet them uh, it's a famous one ah, it become viral because you know this kind of things when it's something become viral uh, because it's true it's it's based on reality and there is a lot of things like that especially all over the world and that's fucking disgusting you know just to think of a kids like that is fucking disgusting guys i don't know how we grow up gonna do that or if, if you think about it, I don't know, I don't, uh, it's just crazy to us guys, especially, it's crazy just to, I saw also the movie like that, uh, I forget his name, Sound of Freedom, and that was also crazy, but it's only true in reality, so from an understanding, that's, that's all disgusting guys, and I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. I, I know this, I know it's funny as you see this grandpa, oh I'm fine, but, but Jokes aside, that's fucking sad to see this shit. Careful who you get involved with romantically. <laughs> Hello? I'm in the mood for some coitus. Get over here. <laughs> I can't. I'm with my family. Pick up wine on the way. Well, Angela, if I'm really the only guy at work who can solve it, I'll be right there. Ah, it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... 
Hey, 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 get out of here. Hey, ah, 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 what's, wh what's wrong with this fucking show? Everything they make it seems like a rape. Ah, uh, what fucking wrong with this show? They violated me. <laughs> now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Coward, I have found you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, Stoy, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this. I didn't get it, this joke. There's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I think Meg. Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car. No one gives a fuck about Meg. It's my job. I lost my house. My wife left me for a bigger cock. <laughs> you get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Bernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 you know, sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty. So each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. You know, uh, this one is doesn't make me laugh. And okay, I, I said in the beginning I will not take anything personal, but I will take this one personal because coming from Africa, was born in Algeria, coming from Africa, to, uh, when you see these kind of things, you understand that Africa it's the richest country on the world. Uh, it's the richest, sorry, it's the richest continent on the world, but still we are poor. How it's possible? Like when you see these kind of things, like oh, we're trying to help you, Nick, up, Mark, we're trying to help us, leave us fucking alone kind of thirsty so each of you gets a crash bandicoot video game all right i'll see you guys next month because i got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck okay now we take it nothing personal i figured it out Peter babysat for the neighbor's kid. All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's the Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Yeah, the hey, I'm LeVar Burton's visor. <laughs> why would he wear these? Who would invent these for him? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that! I, I, I feel the same way! Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and like super sudden, but yeah, I understand the families and shit like that. But I didn't understand the dog in this story, like what he, what he, what he's resembled to, like what his, uh, what's the th this character means in this show. It's just I understand it's just for fun, but it means it has to mean something. You not added it in the well, show. You're gonna die alone, you dick. Simply, they're so fun. I wonder what's in him. Sand or rice, probably. Maybe it's little shells? Oh no, what if it's bones? No, no, bones are too big. But baby bones aren't. No, 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 nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? I'd probably put them in a tub. You could kill like eight at a time that way. Plus it softens them up so you can get the bones right out. Joe just had a baby. And I got a baby at home. I got a tub. Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. <laughs> I gotta kill them too. Uh, like Myers. If it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> 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 Somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. <laughs> I want you to sign my chest. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. 
I want you to sign my ass. And I want to huck a loogie in your face. I want you to autograph my stomach. Okay, fine, but do me a favor. Don't spit on my friend. Hey, Brian, why don't you mind your own business? Gets way up your nose. I want you to resist the urge to levitate off the ground and float towards the pie. Doesn't seem too hard. All right, go stand over there. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, 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 no! Ah, I'm saying no! Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me what? Pete's sake, which has caused outrage with a misogynistic comic. Here's a video of some outrage. <laughs> Yeah, those boos don't hurt so much because you spent two minutes of the last segment applauding a red velvet cake. And if that's not bad enough, this morning's cartoon is even worse. Let's put that up. News, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Come on! Come on in! Your family's waiting! Ah. There are toys, and a puppy, and food that's not served from warming trays. Come on, you gotta want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys, and a puppy. He has you dyed for rings? Well, this is like that, except it's a pill, and it's not okay if you don't get it. Ah, damn you! Come on, come on, you just touched it! That's what I don't. How this show still in air? What's all the yelling? Oh my God, Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> First, there wasn't enough. Mr. Griffin, do you really think this is an appropriate cartoon to run on Gloria Steinem's half birthday? You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive you are to women, do you? What? I love women. I bet I can name more porn stars than you. But but don't tell my wife how many porn stars I know. I'll get in a lot of trouble. I know all of them though. There are people who just started an hour ago, and I know them. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah. It's weird. You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up. <laughs> no words. And get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. You can't leave him alone. Come on. It's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're safe, oh, this one I know. <laughs> get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, <laughs> not, let's not bring the monkey. <laughs> I know this one. I suck this pig, Mr. Kingman. It's against my religion. Believe me, Neil, it's no thrill for the pig to touch a Jew either. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. I know this one. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Oh, I'm I know this Let one. Let me just tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are. No waiter of mine is going to be gay. He's the only waiter we have. Lois. Our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. <laughs> I love you, She-Hulk. All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. I don't have any hams. Lift up your shirt, son. I need an adult! I need an adult! You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, fatty, fat, fatty. Hey, Tom, he's just a fat kid. Aren't you fatty? He's just a big old fat kid. Here's some chocolate, fatso. You're a too much offensive. This, 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 this show, I don't know how they still have it in the air. And when you don't take it personal, it's funny. When you take it personal, it's not funny anyway. It's just for the good sports anyway. This video didn't make me laugh like uh, before, but it was, it was just normal, I guess. But I would say like he's, he, he, he's not the best I want.
far. So yeah, so far. So see you guys for another reaction. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see other reaction. I have other reaction more coming. And make sure if you want to donate for us to have, to help us like to reach where we want to reach, guys. Make sure to donate on the link in the description. Buy me a coffee. You can donate how much you want. It's up to you guys. No pressure. Up to you guys. And make sure to subscribe. I said it. And check the store also. I have a wonderful design there. Check the store and click on the buy button, guys. See you guys for another reaction.